Dream. Isn't the villain of the Dream SMP. The widely popular Dream SMP has had many conflicts in its lore, Dream always being considered the villain of the story. Dream, who has been locked up for his wrongdoings for months for terrorizing and even being called manipulative by the other members. But there is more to meet the eye about Dream. Dream's actions were only meant for good. The SMP was started so Dream could have a Minecraft server with his friends. They collected resources, built buildings. The server was founded on the idea of friends having a good time. Dream liked these peaceful times. Tommy was added to the SMP, and he kicked it off by fueling some conflict. Sapnap and Tommy burn Punk's lemon tree. This was a turning point, if they knew it or not. The true start of the Dream SMP lore. In response, Alyssa and Ponk burn Sapnap's house down. Sapnap, enraged by the burning, turned to Tommy for some help. Sapnap and Tommy sought to kill Alyssa and Ponk. While fighting, Dream had logged onto the server. Dream's peaceful server with his friends was starting to fall apart. The entire server was fighting with each other. Dream took it upon himself to create peace. He did this by taking Tommy's discs. It might have seemed like a strange choice, but it was the one thing that held value on the server at the time. Even though the members were mad at him for having the discs, everyone seemed to be friendly with each other. This is going to be very important later in the video. No longer were they burning each other's houses down or fighting. There was fighting back and forth between Tommy and Dream for the discs, but no longer were his friends fighting with each other. They were all fighting for the same common thing in mind. Dream. It was the price that Dream was willing to pay. The discs were then handed? Taken? Back by Tommy. And there was peace on the server. That's all Dream cared about. Wilbur joined the server and saw potential for something big. He started brewing up potions with Tommy and trying to scam others for materials. Other members had enough and tried putting an end to the scamming. They managed to settle the conflict, but Wilbur didn't like the way he could just be told what to do. Thus, he started Lamanberg. Revolution was brewing on the server, and Dream didn't like it. Wilbur explained that anything in their walls was theirs and would be ruled by them. Dream knew what this meant. As members began to pick sides, the Greater Dream SMP or Lamanberg, Dream saw the server falling apart again. Fighting was on the horizon and he was going to put an end to it. He needed peace for the SMP. A nation governing themselves without the rule of the Greater SMP meant trouble. After the fighting, the Greater Dream SMP blew up Lamanberg. Dream realized something. Lamanberg couldn't just be blown up. They would just rebuild. He needed something that the members of Lamanberg wanted, so he could still step in if conflict arose, but let them have their independence. The discs. The one thing Tommy loved. Tommy and Dream traded the discs for Lamanberg's independence, and the server felt peaceful. The way the SMP was built. The Lamanberg election happened. In stepped a new power into Lamanberg. Schlatt. The people voted on who they wanted to see in power in Lamanberg, and to everyone's surprise, including Dreams, Schlatt had won. Schlatt didn't have good intentions. This will be a lot different tomorrow. Let's start making it happen. My first decree as the president of Lamanberg, the emperor of the country, is to revoke the yes, citizenship. Sir. <laughs> and Tommy in it. Tommy and Wilbur were kicked out and formed a new nation called Pogtopia. And who helped Pogtopia? Dream. Dream helped give information to Pogtopia and supply them. Dream wanted peace back, and the newly named country of Manberg had the opposite intentions in mind. Dream did switch to Manberg's side after Schlatt told him about a book. Dream quickly realized how blindsided he was by the item. In the midst of the war, Dream joined back Pactopia to finish the fight with them. When the dust settled from the war, Tubbo was crowned president. Dream knew this wasn't the end. The peace was not about to start. Techno said it the best. Don't you see what's happening here? Don't you see history repeating itself? You think Schlatt was the cause of your problems? No, it was government. There was no peace with the government, so Dream sought to put an end to it alongside Wilbur and Techno, who shared the same ideas of him. And just like that, Lamanberg was gone again.
While the war was happening, George Not Found was building his house. Little did he know that his house would turn into the next biggest plot points in the Dream SMP. After Manberg's fighting, Tubbo was still president of Le Manberg as they rebuilt. He crowned Tommy the vice president, and the server continued as usual. But it wouldn't be the Dream SMP without something going on. Tommy took Rambu to steal from George's new house. Instead, they ended up griefing and the house mostly burned, breaking one of the only three Dream SMP rules. News caught on to who had done it. The